Hi everyone, this is Dom. You know, I just wanted to do a special video today to talk about a subject that not a lot of people talk about, but to me that is becoming a bigger problem in today's society with all the stress that we live through every day. And uh, it's insomnia. And a lot of people suffer from it. You know, I have been suffering from insomnia since I'm uh, five years old, you know, and uh, I've had, you know, so many different medication and stuff like that to get out of it. And uh, I'm still fighting through it through all the years. Um, it, it's affecting so many people on so many levels. Uh, first of all, you know, when you don't sleep a lot, you know, you're, you're tired, you're, um, on edge, you know, you can get angry or mad or snap at stupid things, you know, that you wouldn't normally when you're well rested and, uh, it affects your personal life. It affects your, your work, it affects your training, your diet, the way you eat, the way you interact with, with people, you know, your, your, you know, your relationship with your wife or your husband or with your kids. And uh, it has many, many, many different level of, uh, of effects on many things in your life. And it, it can destroy your life, actually. It can, um, it, it's incredible how many people overlook the fact that, you know, insomnia is a big problem today. And uh, I've been thinking about it for a while. And uh, I'd like to start a page here. Pe people can post about their own problems with insomnia, how they were able to, you know, fight it to, to get better. Or how they were able to, uh, you know, to, to settle the problem. Or for some people that are still struggling with it or um, that have no answers. Or never really look for answers or just take sleeping pills and stuff like that. And uh, some people will drink, you know, to, to sleep. You know, some people would drink alcohol. And uh, it's just a bad motherfucker of a problem that just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse because you know you take sleeping pills and after that you take two sleeping pills and the first thing you know you know you're on very hard medication and uh it can affect many many things inside of you it can uh first of all you can become absolutely you know incapable to get rid of those uh, pills and also you can affect your heart your blood pressure um, uh, so many things, you know, so it's very important that we all know that is a big problem today. It's something that not, that is overlooked because a lot of people talk about, you know, uh, uh, depression and stuff like that. But the number one reason for depression is insomnia because, you know, sleep is, you know, one of the basic of everything we do in life. You know, we eat, we sleep. You know, we work and uh, but we need to sleep, you know, at least five, six, seven, eight hours a day. And, um, you know, about a year ago, I had a big, you know, it led to some uh, problems for me, you know, that now I'm totally recovered. Uh, for those who know me, you know, I started doing DDP yoga seven months ago and I feel so much better. Uh, I started doing CrossFit training uh, last week. It's going to be my se second one tonight and uh, physically feel 100%, you know, mentally, psychologically, emotionally, 120%, you know, I feel as good as I've ever, I've, I've ever felt, you know, in my life. So it's a good thing, you know, I, but it, it's been a struggle to get there, you know, it's been a struggle. And uh, like I said, you know, it, it led to a lot of difficult situations, you know, with bl blood pressure, you know, and, uh, you know, some people can die from it, actually, when you, when you don't have the right medication or if you don't realize you have high blood pressure, you know, you can have a heart attack. It's a silent killer. You know, you can have a heart attack or um, a stroke, you know, and uh, I'm very happy it didn't happen to me, but it could. It could. And uh, I know some of my close friends, you know, who died or have been affected by uh, you know, by strokes and, uh, you know, heart attacks and stuff like that. So it's, it's a big problem, you know, and, uh, it's something that I would love for everybody to share the, your stories, you know, how you were able to either recover from insomnia or, uh, to fight through it or to get better. Sometimes, you know, it's not going to get perfect. You know, you, you ain't going to get eight full hours of nonstop sleep. You know, uh, sometimes it's nightmares. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes it's just recurring dreams that just keep on coming and you, you wake up actually, and you feel more tired than when you went to sleep because your sleep is not natural sleep, you know, because of the sleeping pills or the stress or whatever, because sometimes, you know, to me, it got to the point, uh, I would say maybe three, two years ago that I was scared to go to sleep knowing I wouldn't sleep 
that I would die because I knew I needed sleep. So it's a pattern that just drives you nuts, you know, because you're like, oh, I'd say, you know, it's still three hours before I go to sleep. And then 11 comes around and you're like, holy shit, you know, oh, I'm going to fall asleep. So now you turn around, you toss and turn. It's midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. You know, you got to wake up at 6 or 7 or whatever. And the first thing you know, you know, you, you fall asleep, you wake up, it's five, you step two, three hours, you feel like shit, you look like shit, you, you know, you, you absolutely can't perform at the level you're able to and that people expect you to or the expectations that you raise for yourself. And that's when the real problems become, become bigger because you, you feel like I'm not able to do what I did before. Why? Why am I, I'm not able to concentrate or to do this? You know, my memory is not as good as it used to be. Of course, you know, you're freaking tired. You know, you can barely walk, let alone think or, you know, be in a good mood, you know. So just smiling becomes almost like, oh, my God, you know. And when you work with people, you know, you have to, to be in a good mood, you know, first of all, because you influence everybody around you. You know, you, you get what you carry with you. You know, if you're always negative, people will be negative with you. And the thing is, is that sometimes you need to open up some people because for me, that probably was my biggest problem. I never talked about it to anybody. First time ever I talk about it right now with you guys. <laughs> I never talked to it even with my friends, even with my family, you know, because yeah, they knew because freak, you know, they, they would see me waking up in the morning, you know, and uh, I would tell them, but I would, it's not something you talk about. It's not something you feel comfortable talking about. Uh, so what you do, you go to your doctor, you ask for sleeping pills, gets a little bit better. Then you get, you know, stronger sleeping pills. Sometimes they give you like one a day, you take two. And then you go there at the pharmacy, you know, seven days before you're scheduled to. And then you say, oh, I'm going on vacation. And you start lying and you get your vacation, you know, doubled or whatever. And it's just a vicious circle that just keeps repeating itself. And the, the, the deeper you get into that tunnel, the, the harder it is to climb back up. So uh, I just wanted to uh, to say that it's something, you know, it's a, it's a battle we all, you know, everybody, you know, we have all, all the same intentions. You know, we want to be happy. We want to have a successful career, successful at whatever we do. Uh, I want to have, you know, a successful career at work. I want my paranormal team and me to keep helping people. I want to be healthy for me and for my kids to live as long as I can, you know. And I want to be healthy for my friends to be the best friend that I can be because I'm physically fit and mentally fit too. So uh, to do that, you know, the first thing is good eating and sleeping very good too and I know both are related and and training also helps but it's the first thing if you if you do crossfit you'll sleep you know because you're so exhausted like last week Wednesday <laughs> when I finished my training I could barely lift my my hands you know to uh, to uh to drive my car you know so I was like holy cow you know I could barely lift my hands it was so hard and uh yet it felt so good and I slept probably my best night's sleep in years So uh, I, I know training really helps. The DP yoga really helps. And, um, and also have a clear mind. You know, if you have things, you know, you want to talk about, you talk about it. You know, um, it's better sometimes, you know, to rub, you know, some people and, and to settle things as the problem comes around, then keep it inside and then explode a year or two years later. Uh, and that's something else, you know, that can lead to your insomnia when you, your conscience is not clear or you're holding stuff inside. So, um, yeah, just thinking, you know, <laughs> a lot of people, uh, I was talking with Steve um, and a few of my teammates and they were like, oh, you got something negative following you home. No, and the only negative thing is, uh, you know, maybe thinking too much, maybe keeping stuff inside. If you let it out, you talk to the right people, you talk to your friends, you talk to the people that you care about and people that care about you, then, you know, they, they, they ain't going to come to you. You, you gotta, you know, that's the thing. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I don't have anybody to talk to. Well, you do. You always have somebody to talk to, but you gotta talk to them. You know, if you, if you don't talk, nobody's gonna come and say, oh, what's going on? You know, are you okay? Some people will, but I mean, most of the time, you know, you have to go out and say, you know what? I need to talk. And you'll always find somebody that is re ready to listen. You know, I would listen to anybody. If you have any problem, you talk to me, I'd listen because I, I love people and I care about people. I think we're all in this for the same thing. You know, we, we all want the same thing. And at the end of the day is to live as long as we can, be as healthy as we can and be as good as we can in whatever we do, you know. 
So uh, thanks, everybody. Like I said before, I might start a new Facebook page, talk about it. Might just leave it on my Dumb Ghost Hunter page or my personal page. You can leave messages. You can leave comments. You can leave whatever you want, videos. You can send me private stuff if you want to keep it private. Direct messages. It's okay on Twitter. You can reach me at, uh, at Dumb Ghost Hunter. So, uh, you know, we're all a big family. And uh, just wanted to share that, you know, insomnia is something that's really important that we talk about it. And we can all help each other through it. Have a nice day, everyone.